Hi, my name is Leonard Simchek. Recently, I took a trip from Orange County to Las Vegas. Fortunately, I had plugged in my GPS. Now, Siri directed me around the crash and ended up saving me an hour and 15 minutes. So grateful to have my GPS operating for me. And I trusted her implicitly. She really knew what she was talking about. You may not realize it, but you also have a GPS, but this one is an internal GPS. We all do. And I know that when we do follow our inner guidance system, and inner guidance may come from a gr greater source like spirit or the force or maybe innate wisdom. However you define your inner GPS, we all have it. And if we connect with our inner GPS, we come from a place of calm and peace and serenity without judgment. That's usually when I know that I'm really connected with my GPS, my inner guidance. Now, there are a number of reasons why we don't connect. I think one of the reasons if I turn off my phone, I'm not going to connect with my GPS. So if I'm disconnected from that higher source within myself. If I'm disconnected from this innate wisdom, uh, it's very difficult to receive information. Another reason why we don't connect is if we go into an um, underground parking space, we may lose the signal. I know I lose my signal if my mind gets too busy. I have my lists of things to do. My mind is so preoccupied I'm not really attentive to any messages or any intuition or guidance that comes to me. The famous hotelier Hilton used to have Hilton's hunches to find the right place to get his hotel. I do know that when we are connected to our inner guidance, life moves more smoothly and we come from a place of inner peace. Now, the thing I've learned about my inner guidance is that I've had to develop a relationship with my GPS. So I have a relationship with the phone and the GPS, which has a connection with the outer satellites. However, I need to develop this connection with myself. And the way I've done it is through trial and error. So if I feel this impulse, this intuition, and I follow it, I try to look for the results of following that guidance. And there are times I haven't followed it. And by failing to follow my guidance system, I've noticed that my life gets a little bit more chaotic and has more difficulty. Just like if I didn't follow series directions to avoid the crash, it would mean that I'd be stuck on the freeway for an extra hour and 15 minutes. So I'd encourage you to turn on your inner guidance system by doing some meditation, some mindfulness, some practice that you can still your mind, be open to suggestions. You may even wanna plant a seed of directions. If you have a question, uh, what am I meant to do today? Or if you have a problem, just plant that seed, just like you would be giving a direction to Siri. And then notice any messages that come up. Often we'll get conflicting messages if we have an inner critical voice. So the message that I always pay attention is the one that's calm, it's repetitive, it's non-judgmental, and it repeats itself over time. So I'd encourage you, try your relationship, expand your relationship, learn through trial and error, your successes and failures, because as you improve your inner guidance system, your life will also improve.